What's up everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now. I'm Alex and in this video I want to talk about the game behind me, Pal World. It's about time I say something on it, right? Now my wife is hard at work playing this game hours and hours and hours. I'm trying to convince her to do a full-on review as she's done two other times on the channel on this game. Maybe you guys can help me. Leave in the comments if you want to see my wife do a review on this game. But I thought, okay, well, you know, we could do a news kind of thing, talk about the phenomenon that is this, the units sold, and but also the controversies. Now, I just got done watching a video from the Mighty Keith, who I think is a you know an excellent content creator, great comedian, great parody er, you know, of these kind of things. And he really, I think, nailed, whether you like him or don't like him, doesn't really matter. The theme of this video that he made talking about Pal World was, I think, a really good reflection of, he gets it, he sees all these different angles of what's going on, and I've seen it too. Boy, boy, have I seen it, and it's something you know, I want to talk about in this video. So number one, let's just talk about kind of the success of this game. The units sold nuts, like absolutely insane. This thing is going to hit you know, 10 million in the next couple days, maybe by the weekend end you know at the end of the weekend it'll happen um but so uh, seven million i think is where we're at now uh in just like i think one less day than how many units it is absolutely insane you can look at the concurrent player count um you know on steam and the second highest game honestly i thought this was gonna stop like saturday sunday i mean like it was it was kind of just picking up steam saturday sunday but you saw it keep rising and i think i don't know if it was today or maybe yesterday two million so like it when it hit like 1.1 1 1.2 i was thinking okay you know it's probably gonna stop soon um you know it dominates it goes over the elden rings of the world and Baldur's gate and hogwarts legacy and hogwarts i think was like in the high 800 thousands i was like okay well like where's it gonna end and over 2 million. Now, I would say, like, it's going to stop, but, like, I just don't know. This is a game, the kind of game that it is, you keep playing it, right? So not only are the people that just started playing this, you know, three, four, five days ago, as this number has gone up, those are, you know, new people jumping into the game. Not only will they continue to play, because the whole point, you know, is to probably play for more than one day, but then you have every day you have more new people coming in. So, you know, do I think it's going to be the highest, you know, concurrent one? No, I actually, I actually don't think it's going to do it. Uh, maybe it reaches like the mid to like 2.5 around their million uh, concurrent players. I don't think it'll hit three. That's my, you know, prediction. It has slowed. It definitely, you know, it, it's still a unbelievable, you know, achievement and they should be extremely proud. But it has slowed down as we've reached like the high one point, you know, blank million. So and, and you know, again, now being at two, I think it's uh, I think it's almost at its peak. So that's the success of it, you know, insane and kind of cool that we do this like right away. You know, what I mean, like we talked about these other games that have come out and, you know, made big impacts. And you look at, you know, I mentioned Hogwarts Legacy and not to get too much into that. But, you know, that came out last February. And I think that surprised a lot of people with the player count. Now, it did not surprise me because I was calling that for years. But the community, like the online gaming community, I think it really shocked people how many people were watching, say, like on Twitch, how many people were playing it, you know, etc. So to have this happen two, two and a half weeks, three weeks into the year, nuts. And I don't want to say like it came out of nowhere because I do remember seeing this game. And I mean, I think the reveal trailer for this game was like three years ago. Um, I think it was at Summer Game Fest this past year. So like it's been around. It's definitely been around. But so I mean, and this actually goes into the controversies and all the anger, which I definitely, you know, that's uh, that's part of the channel. I like to kind of talk about those things. That's part of it because did it come out of nowhere? No. Did the opinions of this game come out of nowhere and just kind of materialize on the spot? Yes, it absolutely did. So let's kind of go into that. One thing, you know, again, in his video, I'll probably reference his video. I, again, I just watched. I thought it was very, very good. Uh, the console warriors, right? This is something I noticed immediately. And maybe it's because, like, I don't do it often. But, you know, maybe every, like, couple of weeks I'll respond to some of these clowns, you know, on Twitter. And, uh, you know, they don't get many impressions. They don't, you know, it doesn't really make a mark. But I'll see it pop up on my feed. And, again, maybe it is popping up for me because I respond every now and then. But I'm not on there, like, every day doing it. So I really don't know why I'm hit with so many console warrior hot takes, I, I don't get it. But as soon as this freaking game came out, okay, the, the attacks started coming. Not just attacks, 
Xbox, for whatever reason, is like this is the greatest day on planet Earth for some of these X. I'm not talking about the entire community, okay? We're talking about console warrior, you know, these big kind of Twitter handles on Twitter or on X, right? They, it was like, it, it was their best day, you know, that they've ever had. Um, you know, advertising basically the game that you can, you know, uh, exclusively on Xbox consoles. And again, that's what Mighty Keith was saying in his video. Like, you can only get this game on Game Pass. And it's it's so good and it's so funny because it's so true. Because I, I literally saw it firsthand. You see all these uh, advertisements, basically, of this game. Now that the game needs you, it doesn't need your help, doesn't need your advertisements saying, Play it exclusively on Xbox consoles. Do you really think it needs a Twitter user to, you know, say that out loud to get like engagement? No, it absolutely doesn't. But that was something you really saw. So, and, and it really became, and again, I, it's more nuanced. It's more nuanced than what Twitter can provide, granted, right? But some of the takes I saw were like, competing and and <laughs> this is not its fault but like last was part two you know that comes out and it just you know then power world comes out same day and it really uh takes the world by storm so you have because of i guess console exclusivity you have this inadvertent battle that neither game was asking for online people gamers in general they're not asking for this but you got it you got hey you can play you know a remastered game on your playstation a controversial a divisive game and it is it's, it's a game i've talked about quite a bit you can play that or you can play like the biggest game of all time exclusively on your xbox consoles and like i saw those tweets i saw those side by sides of do you want to play the the biggest game of the century in pal world or do you want to play last was part two and it's like Number one, it's actually more than that. I actually think Prince of Persia. Now, Pal World is just not my kind of game, in case you're wondering why I mentioned, you know, my wife. It's way more up her alley. I played it for about an hour. I'm just not into, like, the, and, like it's not a knock on the game. I've seen far in content, like people 10, 20, 30 hours in. The game's wild. Like, the game is actually quite impressive, right? But it's just, it's not the kind of game I'm going to play. So it's not a knock on it, but like Prince of Persia, Lost Crown, you know, I reviewed that on the channel. That game is awesome. Okay, so I actually responded to one of these people saying like, hey, I'm over here playing not a, con you know, a game that's not console exclusive. You can play it anywhere and I'm enjoying that. It's like, I mean, that's kind of the point, right? Enjoy the games you're playing. It doesn't always have to be a freaking fight. And that's kind of the point because as soon as this game came out, again, did it come out of nowhere? Well, it achieved the status that it has out of nowhere, right? But it technically, you know, again, it's been in the background for a couple of years that people just haven't been paying too much attention to. But when it comes out, oh my, it's it's the biggest thing of all time. You need your Xbox, you need your Game Pass. Now, again, it's some people, it's a narrative, you know, that I've seen online. It's quite funny and it's quite honestly, it's irritating too, but I guess his video made it much more, you know, enjoyable, much more uh, kind of a uh, lighter. And that's how I'm going to look at it, <laughs> maybe going forward. Uh, now, the second thing, it's not just that. This game has really been attacked from all angles. And uh, again, more nuanced too than just saying, you know, what people on Twitter are saying. So you had console warriors going on. And then you have a, what, what else did you have? You had kind of the lawsuit discussion with Nintendo, which is also very funny, right? Like ninjas coming after people and Nintendo's lawyers and all that stuff. So you had that angle, but then you had maybe the most controversial of them all, the plagiarism, the AI, all that. So really, and again, that's why I like his video, I'll say it one more time, because you go into this game, and at least if you're online, right? If you do surround yourself in this discourse, you got like console warrior people battling it out to your right. Then to your left, you have Nintendo and their lawyers. Then like above you, you have plagiarism and AI. And, all. and it's like the game is just, it's such like a heavy topic when really, and this is a testament to the game, no matter how you feel about any of those, the game nails what it was trying to do. The game seems to be fun. It is the Pokemon kind of spinoff that I think people... It's really, like, they've done not a great job with Pokemon recently, okay? That is, hence, why all this Nintendo stuff, and obviously the game being very Pokemon-inspired, Pokemon with guns, right? Catching them, enslaving them, <laughs> having them work at your camps, all that stuff. But it's doing Pokemon, and it's putting it on PC and consoles that, you know, you're never going to get Pokemon on. You can't play on your Xbox. You can't play Pokemon on your PC uh, outside of a certain, you know, say, means that Nintendo is not very uh, approving of, right? So you got that. 
and then it just like it's it's just different it's just something that's fun with friends and and people are enjoying it and that generally is how it works like you look at fall guys you look at among us you look at these games that also kind of came out of nowhere and became like a thing became an actual like a world event and they just service something you know what i mean they are out of the blue but they're just fun there's something a little different maybe it's something like this where it's something we're kind of used to but put somewhere else and also as a dig to nintendo you know nintendo does nail a lot like you know and, and they're kind of quietly over in the corner as microsoft and sony are kind of battling out and all this stuff nintendo quietly dominates you know selling all of these switches and you know every game they have that's exclusive just sells 10 15 20 million units like like literally nothing they don't have a subscription service like game pass to kind of push it they don't uh it's not the same as sony and their first party studios nintendo destroys that and not necessarily in terms of quality but just like say pure numbers so you know, it is a definitely a knock on Nintendo, but they do, normally, they do a, a quite a good job. However, with Pokemon, they've done an atrocious job, you know, with games. So, again, it, it's kind of from multiple angles. It's, it's you're never going to get Pokemon like this. You're never going to get Pokemon on the PC like this. And then also, all the people that are just fed up, you know, with how Pokemon is, it's just something a little a little bit different. Not that Power World is, like, uh, the most technical, you know, uh, achievement on planet Earth, but, again, like, it's serviceable and it, and it works and people are having fun with it. So I think it sends, like I said, a couple different messages, but one of them, at least Nintendo's way, is like, hey, you... You have something, I, I don't, I think they know this. I think they understand this. You have something very special in Pokemon and, and millions and millions of people are into it. And millions of people have still bought these recent Pokemon games that are just kind of disappointing in different ways or they don't know how to handle the Switch hardware, you know, whatever it might be. You, you're sitting on a gold mine. And again, it's not like they don't know that. You need to put more effort into it. And if anything, maybe this is a sign where it's like, hey, if you just give us good Pokemon, imagine you already do well you already sell well on bad games or mediocre games or whatever you know quality you want to say imagine if you did good good ones you know better ones imagine how much you would sell so you know that's the nintendo angle um now is there plagiarism is there you know all that that kind of controversy that one's a lot harder like you know originally i was making a lot more jokes and i was uh, genuinely curious like will nintendo go after this i just didn't know you know i didn't know enough about this game very much seems like that's number one not going to happen there are plenty of other games that have taken inspiration and probably closer inspiration to actual pokemon say digimon for example there's several even under the radar like smaller games that have been closer to pokemon than this game is and Nintendo doesn't touch them. Now, Nintendo did strike the uh, the mod, you know, that went out for to make this literally Pokemon. That is not surprising. Like, that was, uh, you know, it's a cool idea, but also kind of a stupid idea, right? It's like, Nintendo, of course, is going to stop that. But again, like, in the beginning, I just didn't know. Very much seems like, you know, Nintendo is probably going to leave it alone. And again, maybe it just serves, or hopefully it serves, as just kind of a message to it. And then... You know, the AI stuff. And, and, and one last time, this is the, the final part of this video. Mighty Keith's video does a good job of addressing this. I think before we, like, throw out everything and, and make a final conclusion and judgment on the game and on others, on other people, we need to get the facts right. You know what I mean? And it's something that the internet is terrible with like it's absolutely the worst and we've seen this with other games we've seen this with other controversy look i'm not a fan of plagiarism if they use ai tools to go into pokemon rip the pokemon and transform it and put yes that would be very very bad and that bad for multi plagiarism ai steal theft stealing all of that stuff it would be bad on multiple levels but before let me say it one more time before we make final conclusions on all of this stuff, you're judging the game. You're making a definitive statement about the game. about, And it's weird how it's like happened, right? Like the game becomes this phenomenon and millions and millions of people are playing it. So as the game is gaining traction, there's this like anti... Again, the game doesn't have to be perfect. You don't have to think the game is perfect. But I think it's almost manufactured hate. Does that make sense? As the game has risen in popularity, there will be real hate because there's people playing it that it's maybe just, you know, they have problems with it, maybe legitimate problems. But the, the more popular it gets, and really you could argue Hogwarts Legacy, same thing. The more popular, the more fans, the more support, you're going to have this built-up fake 
negative stuff that that's not real that's not like subjective or legit they're trying to make themselves the way so it's the game did plagiarize the game is using ai and like yeah they've talked about ai before and there are some like sketchy pictures but you know ultimately nothing has been proven up until this you know i'm recording this wednesday night there has been no hard facts and hard proof that they like i said Find me the actual proof that they used AI to go into Pokemon, to steal it, and to manipulate and change it. And they made every character in Pal World is identical or, you know, again, ripped off, let's say. That's probably a better phrase, right? Every single one, I think there's 110 of them or something around there, they're all ripped off versions of Pokemon. Now, I've seen some people say, hey, maybe there's like seven or eight that look pretty close. And maybe they were ripped off. The other 100, you know, aren't. Well, that's still not right. You shouldn't, you know, rip off the other. But there's been no definitive proof. And again, much like the internet does, we just rush to... It, it's just weird. Like I said, it is manufactured hate. And as the game has gained steam and, and you know, done so well... It's had to happen so fast. All this hate has had to happen so quickly. And, and, and again, I think manufacturing kind of fake hate that they, they're they not doing the research. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like they're not all the way in. They're trying to make definitive statements, but you haven't done the work to actually prove it. So until you, and you, and they might be right. Like maybe five months from now or two months from now, or heck, maybe like two weeks from now, you find out that the game, and it's like, well, is it right to, you know, call it out early? Yeah, but you're like, uh, you gotta come with the hard facts, especially on things like that. It's just like in real life with some of the more serious crimes that are like looked very much down. I mean, a lot of crimes are looked down upon, but the more serious ones, you know, the ones you see, uh, you know, controversially say on Twitter and all this stuff. When you do these things, like you gotta have the the proof because it's such a it's such a big thing to call somebody X or Y, right? Or or to accuse them of doing this thing or doing that thing. That's big. So don't do that unless you have the backing. Now, as we know from the world and how things have gone the last little, that's not how it goes. There is bad stuff that happens sometimes, and, and those people deserve to be punished. But there is a lot of fake stuff, too. There's a lot of just made-up stuff because the big taglines, the big, like, narrative things, they carry a lot of weight. So calling somebody X thing, even if you have no proof, that's still big. That carries a lot of weight. That might never leave the person, even though it's not real. It really, I mean, like, yes, that's affecting a person. This is a company. It's a little bit different, but it's very close because you're labeling. You're labeling the game as X or Y. And then by, uh, I guess, by linking the, the game to us playing, you're calling us people that things too right so same thing with like hogwarts legacy right it's not just what jk rowling thinks now it's everybody that works there they're basically the same person so they're just as evil as her and then if you support their product well you're you're supporting their product so you're as evil as her too it really is the same thing it's plagiarizing well you need hard proof but okay it's plagiarizing it's using ai so they're all evil and now oh seven eight nine ten million people are playing this game well you're all evil too how dare you support plagiarism well like you, it, it's not proven yet it's it's not out there yet right so you can't just do that because you're maybe jealous i don't, I don't know what the what the term might be you know why are they doing it um it, it's definitely out of like popularity maybe they're trying to ride it because they see how popular it is so if you create a negative narrative well that's going to get quite popular right so it probably is something along those lines but you know again it happens all the time but when something is as big as this it, it's going to happen to a bigger magnitude so like I said, you know, I think I promised a video that would go over kind of everything, and I think we did. It's been nuts. This game has been nuts. But again, you know, I mentioned earlier, and let me just say kind of one more time to, like, nail it. Beyond all this controversy is is a game, like it or hate it, that's quite special. You know what I mean? Like, uh, I'm not going to hide from it or shy away. This is not my kind of game. I have no interest. Um, you know, it's not going to be a game I say is my game of the year at the end of the year. But this is a huge game that millions are playing. And it serves this, you know, as we said earlier, serves this thing uh, that's that might be different depending on the person playing it, right? It's a really out of left field kind of thing to happen in the industry. And it's nuts that it's happening 
this early, you know, in the year. So hopefully you like this video. I'm pretty tired and talking, so I'm gonna end it here. Uh, let me know, you know, if you want to see more. Like I said, maybe I can get my wife to do the review. Beyond that, to be real, there's nothing else I can say. You know, I, I can't do anything else on this game because I haven't played it. But let me know if you want to see a review. Uh, we can maybe talk about the controversies if they get worse, and we'll go from there. Thank you for watching. I hope to see you all on the next one.